Critics are calling the 2024 Masters lineup one of the biggest yet. Several popular names have surprisingly made the list, including 13 live players. But it's not just about live players making it this year. Possibly the baddest golfer of them all is scheduled to play in this year's major tournament. We'll have more on that later. But first, in today's video on Good Bogey Golf, we'll be covering the major players that cut, the projected winners based on odds, and of course, we'll be covering any major news story surrounding this year's event. Will Scotty Scheffler take home another green jacket, or is there a surprise in store for us at Augusta? You'll want to stick around to find out because when a ledger returns to the greens of Augusta, all bets are off. First off, Scotty Scheffler. When you're talking about Scotty Scheffler in the Masters, you're talking about a guy who's been ruling the greens with the kind of stats that make you want to throw your golf clubs into the trash so you can pursue another career. With an impressive streak of six top 10 finishes in the first quarter of the 2024 season, including two clutch wins at Arnold Palmer and the Players' Championship, it's no surprise he's the bookie's darling for Augusta. He currently is sitting pretty with five to one odds going into the Masters. To get an idea of just how insane this is, the only guy who's done better in odds going into the Masters was Tiger in his prime. It's rare to see odds this low for a major, and it speaks volumes about what Scheffler brings to the table. He currently leads the league in strokes gained from tee to green and on approach, which is a statistical dream. But what's really made him dangerous is his turnaround in putting. He's actually number one in average putts with 1.668. Just last year, he was nowhere near this good as he sat at 103 overall. What's even crazier is that he could also win the Houston Open this weekend and lead into the Masters with three consecutive wins. Now, that's what we call Tiger-esque. Speaking of the legend, we mentioned earlier the possibility of the baddest golfer of them all to play in this year's major tournament. Well, as it turns out, Tiger Woods has officially registered for the 2024 Masters, igniting excitement among fans and players alike. Woods, who has a lifelong exemption to participate in the Masters as a past winner, has battled back from significant injuries sustained in a car accident of February 2021. The severity of these injuries nearly led to the amputation of his right leg, and as a result, Woods has taken a cautious approach to his tournament schedule, participating selectively to manage his recovery and performance. In 2023, Woods showed his competitive spirit at the Masters, but he had to withdraw during the third round. This was indicative of the ongoing challenges he faces on his road back to full competitive form. But Woods' return to Augusta National in 2024 carries not just the hope of his fans, but also the weight of his legacy, as it has been a stage for some of his most remarkable victories, including his record-breaking win in 1997. As the Masters approaches, all eyes will be on Woods, who, despite these challenges, could pull off a run that puts him amongst the leaders. Another major element to this year's 2024 Masters is the inclusion of 13 live golfers. The live golfers participating in the 2024 Masters include Bryson DeChambeau, Cam Smith, Brooks Kepka, John Rom, Patrick Reed, Phil Mickelson, Sergio Garcia, Charles Schwartzel, Dustin Johnson, Bubba Watson, Tyrell Hatton, Adrian Merrick, and Yoki Neiman. That's a lot more than people expected, but it makes this year's major that much more interesting. High-profile players like John Rahm, Phil Mickelson, and Brooks Kepka joining the Live Golf League over the past few years have sparked discussions and debates within the golf community about the OWGR points. The most outspoken of them is Phil Mickelson. His dramatic shift in outspoken support for the new league has not been easy to handle for many PGA Tour supporters. In addition, John Rahm won the 2023 Masters, and earlier that year he voiced his intention to stay with the PGA. Yet, just a few months later, he signed with Liv, which was practically a slap in the face. Nonetheless, these players, with their combined achievements and championships, add depth and intrigue to the tournament, promising a thrilling showdown at Augusta National. The potential for a Liv golfer to win at Augusta National would not only be a personal win, but also a significant statement in the ongoing drama for golf's future direction and prestige. Now, we can't talk about the Masters without talking about some odds. Besides Scotty Scheffler, who's sitting at the top with these eye-popping 5-1 to one odds, we've got a few usual suspects like John Rahm, rolling in with 13-1 to one odds, and Rory McIlroy, who's at 10-1, to one, 
It's difficult to tell with Rom whether or not his numbers truly reflect his form, because the numbers are more opaque on Live Golf. But McElroy has been a bit all over the place so far this season. If anything, people are more likely to bet on Rom as he was the previous year's winner rather than McElroy. Still, both are deserving of these numbers as they're two of the greatest modern scorers at the Masters. But after the main three, the odds seem to like get a little crazy. For example, Kepka odds at 20 to 1, barely ahead of Shoffley Neiman and first timer Ludwig Oberg. These odds don't seem to add up, considering Kepka led last year after three days. He also has a pair of runner up finishes at Augusta and was a reigning PGA champion, which makes him a legit contender almost any year. If Scheffler doesn't putt well, the chances of other players like Kepka taking the win are pretty high. Other notable players like Matsuyama with 25 to 1 odds, Clark with 20 to 8 to 1 odds, and Young with 40 to 1 odds are also sleepers in this year's Masters. All three have been playing very well going into the Masters and could pull off a major performance. In reality, though, it's always impossible to predict who is going to win because at the Masters, anything can happen. Players like Victor Hovland or Jordan Spieth could easily play out of their minds for a weekend and steal the title. And this is what makes this year's major so anticipated. Lots of talent and expectations are coming together to leave us with an unforgettable weekend. From the dominance of Scotty Scheffler to the mystery surrounding Tiger Woods' storied return, this tournament is primed to be a showcase of skill, resilience, and sheer golfing. If you want to stay informed and see the results of this year's Masters, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay tuned to Good Bogey Golf. With us, you can follow every moment, cheer for your favorites, and maybe witness history as Tiger prowls the fairways once more. Until next time, we'll see you in the next video.